Oh, got to tighten, loosen that drag. He's a big one. Oh, shoot. It is Sunday now. Um, we have it's our last full day out here. Got up late today. We stayed up like till 2 a.m. yesterday. We're headed out now. I think it's about 9:30 in the morning. We're gonna go fish Lake George. Check it out. Um, and got Armando over here with us. So we got an extra head today. We're probably. I think we're meeting up with a Stevan to Golden State fishing. So um, I think it's gonna be a fun day. Got to get out there before the wind is kicking. It's supposed to get really windy today. Um, so, we'll be out in a minute on the lake. We um, are in the parking lot now. It's a little windier than we expected it to be already. Um, see. But yeah, the wind's kind of blowing already. So, we're going to see what happens. I don't know. We might have to go uh, find a spot where we're casting with the wind. It's like super windy already. This is really bad. So we might, um, I think we're gonna try to go somewhere where the wind is uh, helping us cast. Cause this is, this is crazy. All right, so um, we settled and found a spot towards the back right corner. Esteban is out here to the right of us. Golden State Fishing and Armando and Josh stopped um, before here. They stopped down the trail. So we're gonna give it a shot, uh, see if we get any luck here. And if not, we, we're just gonna do what we gotta do, move around and uh, look for them. Water's pretty clear, but it does drop off. You can see that um, deep, dark color tint. That's the drop-offs. So I'm gonna see if they're cruising around over there. And if not, we're just gonna keep moving until we find them. Since it's windy, I threw on a 1 16th ball head. We're gonna throw a minnow and see if that's what the fish want today. All right, we're lucky we have a break in the wind right now so I can make a cast. So once it hits the water, we're gonna just let it drop a little bit, maybe count five seconds. We're gonna try different depths and uh, see if we could find if there's any fish around and at what water column they might be in. And then we just wanna imitate that same um, thing. So then once you're ready, you're gonna reel slow. Give it a, give the, make sure that tip is bouncing a little bit. So you bounce your jig around. There's a lot of different ways to fish it, but this is uh, probably the, the one that I use the most. Oh, I see a f nice fish already. Yeah, fish are around. I just saw one come up. Pretty nice one. Let's throw it back out there. They're not far out. He was like, he was like right in, um, right where it gets dark. That's where, that's where he came out of. Pretty nice size, looked like about a three. A four pound trout. All right, so we're going to cast down that way now. See if there's any fish hanging around right there. Now I'm just gonna cast around like that and see if um, they gotta be they gotta be stacked somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna head over there. All right, let's go see what Armando's got. He's calling. He's calling for the net, so he's probably got a nice one.
festholen. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Good job, Armando. Did you get him on mini jig? Yeah, it's the one to color that. Uh, see in his mouth? Oh, okay. It's that brown. Yeah. Dude, that's a tank. Sweet. Oh, there yeah. you go. Thanks, George. Yeah, no problem. Sweet. Nice. I'll send you a picture too. Can't beat that. Beautiful scenery, nice fish. No, winter phase. <laughs> Alright, you guys, we're making a move. It is like blowing right at us. And it's blowing pretty hard too, so it's making it really tough. I already got one wind knot in my uh, braided line so we're gonna make a move and see if it helps us out all right it's probably little guy oh yeah he's small little guy hit the minnow If you guys saw this big, big boulder back here, it was sketchy before. It's even more sketchy with some snow on it. Little ice patches. Whew. Are slippery. Wind is blowing this like crazy. Can't even cast. Jesus Christ, it's windy. Oh, man, my line won't even go down. Yeah, maybe we should go to the other spot. Like I said earlier, um, we were probably gonna be moving around to find these fish. And that's what, exactly what we're doing right now. We're almost full circle around the lake from where we started. So we're going to move to another spot, meet up with Estevan Golden State Fishing. He said that they've been doing pretty good where they're at. So we're going to meet up with him and see if we get some better luck over there. There we go, first cast. Hell yeah. It's a nice one. Oh, got to tighten, loosen that drag. He's a big one. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, I'm wrapped up on some line. Someone's line, yeah, there's line in the water. Yeah. Yeah, I do. All right, Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, he's a toad. It's probably four and a half, five. Oh, 
on the minnow. Here we go. Hell yeah, I gotta give props. Props to Stevon Golden State. Told me where the fish are at. There we go. Sweet. I should have brought my waders. <laughs> Caught that one though on the minnow. We're gonna leave them in the water for now. There we go. We're gonna let them go now. Oh yeah. Easy release too. Things are healthy. Yeah. Holy God! He's all like, he has no back, no back in him. That's funny. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Do you know what, who's stocking it? Yeah, they're nice fish. All the fish we've got here and at Virginia, they're nice, but they have little like orange markings under there. Oh, it's all, I think it's all the Oregon ones then. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice fish. So it's been a minute and Josh is on now. Good one. So I'll go ahead and grab the net. <clears throat> or maybe Josh has got it. <laughs> Let's see. Nice. Duck duck jeeped. Good morning you guys. It's the last day out here Monday. Look at it snowed on us last night. There's a Jeep. We're packing up. We're about to get out of here and give probably Lake Mary a try. We're going to freeze tube it again. Hopefully this time we'll have better luck on the tube. And we're getting out of here going home. changes the plans we were on our way to uh, hit Mary from the float tube and and the road is closed all right so I'm going to go ahead and do a minnow I'm gonna go with the ball head details there we go 
I'm gonna take this uh, copper ball head that I poured and colored. I'm gonna rig this up. The wind is blowing around, it's a little bit choppy. Looks like there's a good amount of grass around, but we'll see how it goes. That, this lake is always like that. So we're just gonna give it our best shot. Hopefully we got get some good luck on our side. All right, there we go. All right, let's see what this does for us. Gotta paddle out. Paddling out here, there's really tall grass, pretty far out. So we're looking for some holes that the fish might be in. Looks like it's getting deeper to the right. But we don't want to be throwing our jigs all up in that grass. So I'm gonna have to paddle around for a minute until we find something. So we found a pocket of deep water. So we're gonna go ahead and throw around in here for a little bit see what happens I can look down and I don't see any grass now so if anywhere the fish should be out here got a bite I had a bite right now There we go. A little guy. Tiny. All right, let's uh We're going to put this guy in our landing net. There we go. Ooh, even my landing net's kind of frozen a little bit. Hook is out. That's one good thing about this uh, net. Hooks don't get stuck. Sometimes once they hit the net, they pop off. So you, I didn't even touch them at all. We're just gonna let them back in the water. Easy release. Boom, there it is. Another little one. All right guys, so since we're doing some catching and releasing, I'm getting my hands wet before I touch the fish. Oh, come on. You don't want to remove their uh, protective slime coating. They also get infections. So, got the hook out. He was barely out of the water. He's back in and he's gone. Good to go. So, um, quick release. That's what we're trying to do. Still searching for a big fish. Um, I got ice on my ice just froze around the tip of my guide because the air is so cold So I'm gonna clear that up and cast out again. Just got three bites in a row Hasn't even dropped too far just cast it out I'm really slow giving it a mouth. Oh, that's the fourth bite I've missed. They're probably small fish Probably not getting the hook fish are kind of jumping too But we are in deep water right now. Oh my gosh, they're hitting it. Barely, they, they gotta be small, there we go. Oh, I lost them. All right, but that minnow is getting bit. 
over and over. We're going to cast it out again. Let's see. All right, so casting it out, let it drop a little, and reel some slack in, and bounce it at the same time. Just let it drop. Oh, shoot, there's another bite. Maybe we'll jig it a little harder, try and set the hook. Oh, shoot. There's got to be small fish. Big fish usually take it really hard. There we go. Oh, damn it. This is crazy. There we go. That one's on. Oh, he's off. This is insane. Okay. Let me fix that minnow. I pulled it off the hook a little bit. All right, here we go. It's over and over again. Keep getting bit. A lot of small smaller fish. Good action though. Okay. Let's get you unhooked. gonna get one for sure let's uh reel in that slack oh oh i got bit come on there it is oh i lost them Plastic is probably all chewed up now. Should probably change it. Let's see. Let's go ahead and change it. Got another one rigged up on there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out. I keep getting ice on the guide tip. Do this. Getting bites already. There it is. Oh, I lost them. Small one. Boom. These guys are tiny. Getting close to the end of the trip. Getting just a bunch of small fish here, so probably only get, we'll probably only fish it another hour, and then we're getting out of town. And it's just amazing just to be out here. Gotta enjoy it, even if you're not catching big fish all the time. You just gotta enjoy being out here. So taking in the views right now. And I'm gonna paddle back out and see if I get lucky with one big fish but so far nothing but dinks i got one josh has got one he's using a worm i got a minnow same size small guys little 
little stubby one right here. It's been funny that these have been coming out. I don't know what's wrong with them. Missing a chromosome or something. But, uh, freaking, uh, Golden State, he caught one like this yesterday. And it was big. It was like a four pounder. Looks so funny. He's, he'll probably have a video up soon. Alright, so this time we put a white worm on one of my orange ball heads. 132nd ounce. And let's see what this one does. I, I don't think I'm going to last too much longer. A couple more casts and I'm getting out of here. There it is. Oh, shoot. Can't keep him on. Oh, he was coming back for it. All right. Come on, fish. Don't make me look bad. All right, that's dropping. I'm going to let it sink. Let's count this one. Two, three, four, five. Let's say six. Let's see. Slow reel, up and down bounce. I think they were getting hooked on the minnows better. Because these are so small. The worm is longer, so... It might be hitting the back end of it. There it is. This hand, so I can pick them up and show you guys. And this. All right, finally got one to stick. Um, that's about it. We're gonna make our way out, go get some lunch, and head home. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. I appreciate you guys. See you guys next time.